All right, so in this question here, remember now scaling often helps scaling up. You can see here he does 100 meters in 10 seconds. So just think about that in your head, that in 10 seconds, this sprinter runs 100 meters. Now you can scale that up. You can think, okay, if he does 100 meters in 10 seconds, what would he do in 20 seconds? Okay, obviously it's gonna be double, isn't it? So it'd be 200 meters. 200 meters in 20 seconds. What would you do in a minute? Okay. Okay, now think about it here. 20 seconds, he does 200 meters. Well, 20 seconds occurs three times in a minute. Okay, so times it by three. So times this by three, you get 600 meters in one minute. Okay, now we want the average speed in miles per hour. Okay, now don't worry about the miles bit for a minute, but just realize it's talking about per hour. So we need to work out what he's doing in an hour. So 600 meters in a minute, obviously then times that by 60, okay, to get one hour, okay, times by 60. So if you times the time by 60, you need to times the distance covered by 60. 600 times 60, okay, well, you could do that on a calculator. Um, or if it was non-calculator, it'd be 6 times 6 is 36, and add the zeros. But, as, you know, this is a calculator paper, so let me do it straight on the calculator. Now that's 36 meters in one hour, right? Um, now, we need to change this to miles per hour. At the moment, we've got it meters per hour. That's no good. We want miles per hour. Now, in order to convert, what I would do is change this to kilometers, right? Now, if you think about it here, we've got, we've got 36,000 meters, so that would be 36 kilometers, okay? Because a kilometer is 1,000 meters. So you've got 36 kilometers here in one hour. Now to change this then to um, miles per hour, you need to remember this conversion. Five miles is eight kilometers. So because it's in kilometers, you need to see how many eights are in here. So we do 36 divided by eight, okay, which is four and a half. All right. So you've got four and a half lots of eight kilometers in here. And then we know each eight kilometers is worth five miles, so you're going to times then this by five, so you get 22 and a half, and then it's in 22 and a half miles, and of course then it's miles in an hour, so we can say miles per hour.